<laughs> that was very much, hey, I didn't see you there. Happy day. Happy, happy day. Welcome to this week. Welcome to this love. Welcome to this abundance. Welcome to this version of you. Oh my goodness. The version of you that you get to get to know now. The version of you that you get to feel on a deep level the version of you that finally makes sense that finally aligns even if just for this moment in time that's okay you know those moments when we feel so inspired so compelled to create action out of something so compelled to put something into action and those steps might even come up within the next moment they might actually you might actually get on the train and start doing this stuff that day but then all of a sudden you wake up the next day and the drive for the energy, the energy for the drive that is needed to carry on this task into this day is gone. It's gone. The inspiration was there in a snap. You worked on it, you did something towards it, and now the next day it is something of the past. You simply do not want anything to do with it anymore. And you know what? That is okay. <laughs> That is okay. Now I'm gonna tell you the masterful way of living in this life as somebody who is like this, okay? And if we're talking about human design, we're talking about the manifesting generators, the um, just low energy types in general, the manifestors for sure, the projectors, and yeah, def definitely definitely reflectors and so these are the types that are like I'm gonna put energy towards this and when I'm done I'm done when I'm done I'm done okay um, I have so I'm gonna speak from a manifestors point of view because I am a manifester okay and you know in such a regal <laughs> regal sense I am a manifester make things happen I can just go and do I can have the most monumental idea today and have a website for it tomorrow okay I am a I am a machine <laughs> I am a straight-up machine so as an entrepreneur coach as a human design coach as a self-love coach if I'm pushing forth how I am as a person on to other people and coaching in that style and saying hey all you got to do is just go for it just do it just write it down and get it done <laughs> the way I do it well it doesn't translate as well because people just don't work that way it doesn't really happen that way and having empathy as a coach and understanding how I work in tandem with how other people work has deemed to be so, so powerful. I mean, it took a very selfless stance to do such. And human design is an amazing way to understand how the other energy types act and react around you and with you. And manifestors, oh my goodness, we're packed. We have a lot. We have a lot going on about being a manifester, and I'm just going to focus back on what we were talking about because it can go very deep. I love human design. So back to the entrepreneur aspect of using your energy correctly. Manifestors, we are here to create ideas and delegate it to somebody. Create and delegate create and delegate hello this is my idea this is what i have created today put it on wheels 
okay and and you would hopefully have the capital for this this is like dream world best case scenario as a manifester i wake up i channel and think of whatever wonderful idea that i have i have a team waiting to see what we are activating today and then we sit on it we collaborate on it and we make it happen and then the next day i don't have to think about it at all there's not a meeting about it there's not oh let me get your opinion on this there's no, no. i'm done i'm done with it i pass it along i'm actually on to my next idea <laughs> bring in team number two <laughs> but oh my goodness everyone's not meant to stick to one thing forever okay if you have an idea today and you don't care about it tomorrow have so much grace on yourself so much because tomorrow's a new day it's a new ass day you are so fine <sighs> Let's breathe. Let's breathe a little bit. If you want to know your human design type, contact me. Let's have a reading. I would love to tell you all about you. Human design has changed my life. So huge for self-acceptance. And I was already someone who was very self-accepting. But when I learned more about a manifester, I was like, oh my gosh. That's the... That's that's what's been happening that's why people react to me in that way that's why <laughs> when i walk into a room everything goes silent it's like okay okay i get it i get it okay let's breathe for a moment mm. wow absolutely marvelous isn't this day wonderful mm such a blessing hmm. think about what you're grateful for today that's a really great grounding place to start what are you grateful for and if you'd like to stay in the mindset of your business then think about what you're grateful for for your business as we are in the middle of our day. What are you grateful for? Breathe it in. Exhale any stagnancy keeping you from your highest self. Stagnancy no more. Activate the gratitude. and some deep breaths. Remember where you are right now. Observe the thoughts. They come and go. And you stay here. Present.
<sighs> Invite in some deep breaths into your body. You are safe here in your body. Keep blessing your body with deep breaths. I always get so many downloads during this time, but the one that stuck out the most was astrology. <laughs> so you may have had your birth chart read at some point in your life, or maybe you've never heard of it, but I got the message to revisit the birth chart. Take a look at it again. You're going to discover something that you didn't discover before. And it's going to make something in your life make so much sense. It's just all going to come together and you're you're going to be like that's that's what it's been. That's what it's been. The wonderful thing about life is that it does end up being as simple as we think it is. The very thing we run away from, the fearful thing that we just hope doesn't happen. Have you ever noticed that when it does indeed happen, it is so much less monumental than our brains made it believe? So much less. Because we always get through what we need to get through. Literally always. Always. So when those voices come up and it's like, oh, I don't know what's next. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going. Shh. It's okay. It is okay. You always get through. You know what to do. Trust yourself. <laughs> Astrology is a wonderful way to... To just see take a look at it take a look at it as an observer just someone on the outside looking at your chart based on what time you were born the location you were born and day you were born and see what resonates <laughs> see what comes up Yummy! Hydrate. Hydration is imperative. My body sings every time I drink, I drink water. It's wonderful. Okay. So, why don't we... We're going to pull from this wonderful deck. It's called Everyday Witch. It's just so joyful and such a cute deck. It's the cutest deck. I actually pulled from it this morning and it gives the cutest messages. The cutest. I really like pulling cards. I mean, I do have a lot of a lot of downloads and words that I wanted to come on here and say. And then before I clicked go live, I um I was like, oh, well, we'll see what happens because I literally am just a channel during this time and I just hang out to see what messages come within this 30 minute segment that I have with you guys. Um, I know down the down the line, it's going to be much longer because I'm going to be on here doing readings, human design readings. Get excited. Um, but I just need more people to show up, you know, so <laughs> until then. 
we stick to our little 30 minute drop-ins and um, but yeah I'm just a vessel and whatever comes up during this time is what's during this time I don't write down what I'm gonna say I don't rehearse in any way I just put on something cute and click live um, doesn't even have to be cute I come in whatever I look cute and everything so <laughs> course it's gonna be cute but um i'm just here to spread light and self-love helping people love themselves asap on the highest level you are everything you are so powerful healing waters oh my goodness i was thinking about this card this morning whoa so do you see how he is just completely dunking water, dunking water on his face. I don't think dunking's the word, but indeed, there he is putting water on his face. And it's like this cleansing ritual of grounding oneself back to the earth, back to nature. Who? when's the last time you've been in a body of water? Just went into the ocean, stepped foot into the ocean. But really, I'm thinking even, I'm thinking even just putting your face into the shower. I did that. I did that the past couple days um, when it was like super hot. I was like challenging myself. So silly. But anyway, uh, you're in the shower and you just kind of commit to something. Say, do I want to complete this goal do i have the energy and the power to do this will i succeed anything you're asking and you say yes self i do and then you submerge your face into the water and just feel the water on your face and allow yourself to cleanse yourself of anything that is going to be working against you indeed making that happen anything because you know we self-sabotage sometimes but through this water ritual in the shower that you can do with yourself, oh my goodness, how powerful. So on an even more just heightened sense, I mean, you could go to the ocean and do a whole dunking of self. Like you're like, I want to release uh, this past relationship that has me just out of my self-worth. I know who I am. I know my self-love, but I just... This relationship really has me down. <laughs> well, you can use this energy to get rid of any stagnant energy that's left within you that keeps you in the mindset that you're not worthy enough, that kept you in that relationship, that put you in a state of your life that you never thought you could be in, but there you were. And we're going to release that judgment. We're going to release that, that energy that is within that and and that day you vow to yourself that you're gonna let that go you vow to yourself that you're done you are done holding on to that energy okay and you'll know you're holding on to the energy whenever that energy uh the topic comes up and you have a physical reaction to it someone comes up and you're like oh my god oh, i hate that oh the it's like mm, that's something to work on here my love which is exciting because that's time that you get to have with yourself rather than watch tv tonight you get to do some shadow work how wonderful it's my kind of night so let's talk about healing waters that was my uh interpretation of the card like i was saying i just channel messages i do not um I don't have a planned anything and whenever so if I'm looking at a at a at an image or at hearing a certain sound or just coming up with anything and I have a message for you then I'm gonna say it that's what I'm doing okay I'm just saying what needs to be said in this segment all right this clearly is a water card we're going to be healing waters page 76 we are oh my gosh one of my other videos did not save the other day it was such a trip i did a whole oracle reading and then i saved it 
And then it didn't save, it straight up didn't save, just... Well, the audio didn't save, the video was me like, la 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 la, and blah blah blah. No blah blah blah. None. Water has always been associated with healing. There are sacred springs, pools, and wells all over the world. It is traditional in many places to make a pilgrimage to these healing waters, often at a time of summer solstice. But you can use water for healing work all year round, even if you have to create your own sacred site. Hint, if you have a bathtub, you're in luck. <laughs> Salt and water are often used for cleansing during magical rituals. So if you don't have a body of water nearby, you can take you can still take advantage of water's healing powers. Or you can just stand outside when it's raining. Yes. We're witches, we know how to improvise. <laughs> Action. Take a healing bath or shower if you don't have a tub. Put on some quiet music if you like and add sea salt to the water of the tub or use a salt scrub if you're in the shower. Be mindful of the element of water as you bathe and visualize illness, pain, and sadness going down the drain. Ooh, we didn't talk about the drain aspect, but that's powerful. I love that. Let the water wash away your troubles like the rain washes dust off of a car. Come out of your bath or shower feeling healed and renewed and reconnected with the power of water. We forget about the power of water. It's so powerful. <laughs> I contributed nothing except to reiterate that water is power. Water is power. <laughs> Divination. <clears throat> this card is a reminder to connect with water on its mo most powerful ways if you can go to a body of water ocean lake or even a stream now is a good time to do so if you don't have one nearby maybe buy a small tabletop foundation and spend some time listening to it oh that's so cute the sound of moving water is almost as healing as the waters themselves I know what you're thinking you're saying oh I'll just go to YouTube and I'll put on some water sounds Mm. go to the beach if you're in california get your butt up and go to the beach go to the beach go to the stream go to the lake there we have lakes all over i'm in lake forest we we have lakes go to a lake go go <laughs> magic make yourself some magical healing water fill a glass Fill a clear glass container with water from a fresh source is great if you can get it. Anything from ocean or well water to rain water you collect, but tap water is fine if it's all that you have. If you have a quartz or amethyst crystal or any stone associated with healing, put it aside in the container. If you want, you can add a sprig of rosemary. Ooh, it's page 77. How spiritual and wonderful. If you can't put it outside, place it on a window or a table where moonlight will fall. The moon, the full moon is a great time to do this, but if you need it sooner, you don't have to wait. You can then use the water in a bath to anoint yourself during a healing ritual or simply wash your face and hands in it while visualizing and glowing, healing light washing you clean. That's absolutely wonderful. So wonderful. May you find some healing waters nearby very soon. May, if you try the, the, sh the shower ritual, let me know, okay? Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear how it goes. I did it, uh, I've done it a couple times last week. And so I was thinking of this card and I just pulled it and I was like, whoa. <laughs> so I passed that on to you. I got it as a message to pass it on, okay? water magic <laughs> so I'm just so grateful to be able to just be my purpose and you just hiccup upon it all the time 
just allowing being able to give a self-love practice it's as simple as that like i i've done it <laughs> like that's part of my my purpose it's like have you have you done anything towards your purpose today yes or no and i have indeed and i'm just so grateful to to be able to and to show up and to help people love themselves because that's what we're here for it's just so important so let's take a moment with ourselves hello hello we just missed the talking portion we're about to just chill and marinate on what we just heard maybe think of some water magic that we can end up implementing ourselves um yeah so invite some deep breaths ah, remind your body that you love it so much that you remember those deep breaths throughout the day With every deep breath, just pumping love into your body, direct from you, direct from the source. As your thoughts begin to wander, just remember that you are here, you are safe, you are present as you observe your thoughts. Mm. Inviting the next one in as the other leaves.
<laughs> oh, beautiful soul. We have a wonderful day. A day of blessings. A day of excitement, a day of love. And know that you are source, the source of all of that, of all that you desire. And nothing, no one can keep you from that. Not a soul, except yourself. So go get what you want, beautiful soul. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>